I have always spoken ex tempo without any written remarks. But today I am going to read a very short remark. And then after that, go into a little bit of history. Because people like Professor Jerry Gana are here. People like Alhaji Shuaibu Oyedokun are here who can recollect the few historical events I will recall. But first of all, let me start. The People's Democratic Party has the right to determine its rules on how the party should be governed. The people of Nigeria also have the right to determine who governs them. Where the president comes from has never been the problem of Nigeria. And I can cite examples. Neither will it be the solution. There is no such thing as a president from southern Nigeria or a president from northern Nigeria. There is only one a president from Nigeria for Nigeria by Nigerians. <laughs> Talking about inclusions, I would like to see a new national working committee of our party, our great party, that has sizable numbers of our youth and women. The decision of NEC today will either see us PDP into the villa in 2023 or not. Since the inception, this party has faced serious challenges and have risen above sentiments to solve those challenges and move forward. Now let me come to historical events which I said I was going to cite. Those of us who served in the Constitutional Conference which drafted the current Constitution of Nigeria should remember that after we finished drafting that Constitution we all met as members of the Constitutional Conference and resolve to correct the injustice that was done to a particular part of this country. And we said, in whichever party you found yourself, your presidential candidate must come from the Southwest. Because Abiola had won election, it was annulled. Not only was it annulled, he was killed. So we all agreed as members and we went out of the constitutional conference and we formed our parties. Those of us who formed PDP, formed PDP, those who formed AMPP, formed AMPP, those who formed AD, formed AD. At the end of the day, two alliances, two parties emerged. PDP picked General Obasanjo, AMPP, AD picked Olufalae. This is to show you that Nigerians have a sense of fairness. Professor Jerry Ghana, is that not what happened? More or less. <laughs> Distinguished members of NEC, 
in 2003, all the PDP governors, McCarthy is here and some of them, met at the villa and said they were not going to support President Obasanjo for a second term, that I should run. I now refer them to the resolution of NEC, where NEC decided that power should remain in the southwest for eight years. How do you now want me to go against the resolution of NEC? And I turned it down. And we moved on. So, this country has a sense of fairness. This country has a sense of justice. This country has a sense of fairness. Therefore, this thing that is inbuilt in our party, we should be able to use it, to imbibe it, to make sure today's deliberations and in the best interest of our party, in the best interest of Nigeria, which will ultimately give us the victory that we yearn for to go back to the villa. Having said that, I want to thank you all for giving me this opportunity to make these remarks. And I hope we shall be guided accordingly by a sense of fairness, sense of justice, and a sense of patriotism, which will eventually or ultimately give us the success that we desire. God bless you all. Thank you very much.